Begin the reassembly by greasing the inner lips of the shaft seals. With the seal installing tool, you can press the shaft seals into place in both the inlet nut and the body. Now press a bearing on each side of the shaft. You can now insert the fill tube up through the shaft seal and fill the body with the viscous fluid to about three quarters of the height of the fill tube. Before replacing the shaft and bearing assembly, apply a thin layer of fluid to the grooves of the shaft to help eliminate the air pockets. Now insert the shaft into the body and this will push the fill tube out the bottom. Now turn the shaft by hand to help bring up the air bubbles. Replace the wave spring and determine the fluid level. Replace the seal and brass seat as demonstrated earlier. Replace the centralizer. Install the o-ring on the inlet nut. Apply a thin layer of anti-seize to the threads of the inlet nut and screw it back into the body. Replace the weep seal. Cover the threads of the shaft with Teflon tape and screw on the head. If you find that you are experiencing rotational speed problems, you may look at sizing the jets, which eventually wear out, and understand that these tools are easy to modify in order to accommodate different pump sizes and hose lengths by simply replacing the jets. Stone Age offers all the parts and tools seen here individually and in kits to help you with your repair, and we can also provide a comprehensive operator's manual for your tool.